Hey, what's going on? A meteorologist Mike Linden here with an update on Hurricane Ian. As it stands right now, the hurricane is a Category 4 major hurricane sitting off the coast of the Fort Myers, Florida area with wind speeds up near roughly 155 miles per hour. The expectation from the NHC is we will see Ian make landfall just to the west of the Fort Myers area, kind of splitting the difference between Sarasota and Fort Myers. It is likely to do so as roughly a category four hurricane weakening to a category one as it works its way inland but that's pretty significant maintaining hurricane intensity as it works its way just to the south and east of lakeland remember that's just the center line you're still going to see a lot of wind heavy rainfall extending away from the core of the storm let's jump to the satellite imagery here and you can really see how that eye is wrapping around a lot of uh, that moisture it is certainly going to be a rather significant day for the folks that live in southwest Florida. The real key here is how much water is going to be pushed by the winds, the storm surge. Not so much of a threat anymore for the Florida Keys, but anywhere where you're seeing that red color is roughly 9 to near 12 feet of storm surge, and that extends from pretty much all the way south of uh, Naples and Fort Myers, extending all the way northward to Bonita Springs and Port Charlotte. Again, this is likely where the National Hurricane Center expects the storm to go. It's important to remember as well that hurricanes are also associated with severe weather. You can see that that, ye that yellow color is a slight risk, a two out of five from the Storm Prediction Center, and that orange color for most of the Space Coast, including Orange County, which is where we are here in Orlando, and just the North Air Seminole County, that's a three out of five, an enhanced risk for severe weather. So there it is a tornado threat from Ian as well as the storm pushes its way northward. Mind you, we could be looking at upwards of 12 to near 15 inches of rain some spots even locally higher than that. So you really need to watch out for the potential flash flooding as this storm works its way north northward. So we will, of course, keep you updated. All things Hurricane Ian right here on my radar. You can see all the social media profiles above my hand there. From all of us here on the team, stay safe and stay dry. We'll see you back here soon.